Welcome to the Practice Bloom Podcast. We supply breakthrough marketing tips and techniques for those medical practices looking for more patients and more profits. Okay, welcome to another episode of the Practice Bloom Podcast or the video if you're watching the video today. Hey, we've got an interesting topic that I wanted to cover, which is sort of appropriate for some of the mechanics in the marketing industry for medical practices. And we're talking about the patient journey here, uh, the five-step road to conversion. Now, I've had some other discussions in recent times on the patient journey, but today I really wanted to talk about the components to get you in the thought process of how uh, someone becomes uh, from unaware to aware to conversion. So let's think about these first initial steps. So in the beginning, there's sort of an open funnel. Uh, there's people who have opinions, who have their own self-diagnosis. Uh, they have they've sort of are not aware of things that are available to them for a solution to their pain or a solution to their ailment. And this is the situation where we're starting from really no ability to connect to your practice or to your solutions or to your uh, particular field because they're not in that area where they'll even know about the capabilities to solve the problem that they have or their own self sort of diagnosis that they, they are aware of. They may have some opinions, they might have hearsay, but they're not really in the field yet. So the first step is really the beginning of advertising for a practitioner, and that can go across multiple channels. You can go into Google and Facebook and uh, Instagram and uh, email, and uh, it can go across about seven to eight different channels really where we uh, help practitioners work and where you can do it on your own. So now you've got this field of enlightenment, let's just call it, that you're starting to uh, talk about solutions. So if you take your particular, I'll use a example so we can put it into a frame of reference because I had this conversation yesterday. So let's take sciatica, which is a problem for people, uh, a big problem for a lot of people. Um, for people who have that initial pain, they don't know what it might be or they're, they're kind of maybe aware of what it might be. Once you start to advertise and you start to say, hey, this is symptoms of a sciatic nerve issue or a sciatic problem, um, and then people uh, who have the similar types of uh, pain um, start to register. So again, it's the beginning sense of there might be a problem or there, there, there's a solution out there, but they're still not clear. And this is usually the problem desire aware area. So they're, they know that there's a problem now. They're, they, they're kind of getting their thought together. So this is sort of stage one, but they haven't really, the, the, the brain hasn't really functioned to a point where it understands the full mechanics of what the problem might be. And that's usually the first initial ad. That's what we always tell the people who are starting with us. You need to start to become part of the ecosystem of how people discover and actually entertain their brain into saying, I might have a problem or there might be a solution or there might be something that I'm not clear about. So now that we've got some sort of problem and there's a desire to be more aware, we, we, tar we target or retarget the same people who have either clicked on something that they see that there might be a situation that they're involved in. So again, this might be, are you aware of these three types of pains? you might have sciatica in this particular example. So now we've gotten the people who have shown some sort of interest, who have spent time on a page, who have clicked on something to see the next stage, which might be a, a landing page or it might be a video or it might be uh, an informal guide. And now we get to the real stage where we're starting to make some headway, which is now we get to the second level, which is we run another campaign that basically is a further down the path awareness campaign. This is when we start to get people aware of the solution. So if you have sciatic pain, there's a couple of different solutions. Here's one, which would might be, let's say, decompression therapy, which is common to relieve that type of pain. That could be an example that you can now sort of format into. Now, they're, they're now aware of some solutions or they're solution aware, which is probably more important to understand, is that they're, they're, there's an ability for them to actually 
cognitate that there is a predestined solution to the pain that they're having. Again, we're using a very specific example, but you can put your practice into this and you can put your practice um, solutions into this mechanic. So there's really two stages there. There's the, there's the first part that's the problem that th they're desiring a solution because they've, they've been initially touched and then the retargeting to that same exact person with a solution suggestion. So that may be or may not be the right particular answer that customer is looking for. So now we're looking for the market match. Now we're looking for the exact solution. So now we want to introduce the third retargeting strategy, which is a, another solution that really highlights you as the provider of that solution. So now we're putting branding into it. So we've really started from a non-aware to aware to solution aware to now your solution. So now we're really putting in the specific practice and we're putting branding in and we're focusing in on having you be the practitioner who provides the solution. And again, it might still not be the right fit. So now we've got to try AB variants. So it may not be decompression. It may be something else that for this particular sciatic solution that the person's um, aware that they might have a, a, a lean towards a, a problem solve. And let's just say that they think that in their mind, if they can come in and have an adjustment, in, in this case, that might be the solve. So if you're A-B testing the different types of solutions, now you've created the fourth offer solution, which is you're going to get the right market match to the right strategy to the right customer. So it's the, the right solution now put in front of the right customer at the right time with the branding. So now you've finished the the pathway, which is the fifth step now, which is they convert to an appointment where they, they click on a button for an, a call or they click on a, uh, a button for a, an appointment to generate an auto-generated uh, online appointment. So really, let's go through those five steps really clearly. First is unaware, again, opinionated, self-diagnosed of something that's going on, but they're really not aware of what could be this, the, the problem. Then they're getting learned into the first phase, which is they're getting a problem desire aware. So they're, they're aware of now they have a problem. The third or, or most important stage, I think, is the solution aware, um, trying to figure out a place to turn to find the solutions. You've got that, that secondary retargeting. Then the third retargeting is when you're bringing in your brand, you're telling them that you're the solution. And then the fourth is to start to do the testing to figure out which solution will fit for them as a market match, and then fifth is the conversion. So think of those things when you're starting to run your advertising, and I hope this helps you decide on how you put your advertising out there. Again, it's Matt Coffey, CEO of Practice Boom. So if you're considering new growth for your practice, go to practicebloom slash start, and we can get you your free assessment. We can go through everything that relates to your product, your services, your competition, your website, your marketing, and we'll send you a great video that overviews everything. And we'll get you a report that will show you what you need to do to improve everything and start to grow your practice.